All right, hi guys. This is my pulse induction coil project, which is part of the overall project for building a pulse induction metal detector. Um, still waiting on my Barracuda uh, kit to arrive from the UK, hopefully any day now. So what I have here is I, I built a, uh, uh, a form to wind the metal detector coil. I've got some 24 gauge magnet wire insulated and I have 24 turns around my form here and it's going to fit in side this uh, coil shell. It's just about a nine inch shell. So I finished winding the coil and I'll just show you what it tests out as with my nice little tester that I bought here for this purpose. One second. Here we go. Hmm, that changed. Now it's 0.5 micro Henry's. A second ago it was 0.37. Let's try it again. Hmm, that's not working right. All right, let me uh, change my batteries and I'll revisit this. All right guys, so back again, fresh battery, even though it's only showing me it's 7.8 volts. And I am at, uh, you guys can see that. Hopefully it's focusing. Um, 0.37 micro henrys or 370 micro henrys I should probably say try it again on booting up testing okay very good so I, I what what I think might have been part of the problem was batteries and also uh, I didn't strip enough of the, the varnish off the end of the wire. I didn't have a good connection. All right, on to the next part. All right, here's the coil again. My next step is to wind a, uh, a spacer around the coil to go in between the coil and my shield. For shield I have a uh, Scotch 24 shielding tape. It's basically a tinned uh, copper mesh and it'll, it'll work best for for the shield if I have this spacer in between it and the coil. So what I did was I actually stripped out a piece of Cat5 cable and I spiral cut it. As you can probably see, I spiral cut it with a uh, X-Acto knife. A little bit of a pain, but got it done. And now I'm gonna wind it around the coil. All right, back again. And this is the pulse induction coil now with the copper shielding wound around it uh, kind of a pain to do but it's complete tried not to overwind overlap my windings too much and you notice that uh, here there's a gap because the uh, the shield cannot be continuous um, it can't be a closed circuit, that's what I'm trying to say. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of copper wire and 
solder to the shield and we'll connect to one of these and then I think I'm about done for now all right stand by all right guys this is just a, a very short little segment I realized that I never finished up my short series on building my uh, mono coil for pulse induction metal detector. So this is it in its finished form. We're looking obviously at the uh, the bottom of the coil. It is uh, potted in epoxy. Uh, you can see the uh, the connections and turn this over. This is the shell that I, I put it in and um, my cable connection. So just a little conclusion to the series on how to build a coil for DIY pulse induction metal detector. Thanks.